Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 297. Page 297, would you excuse me just for one second, I'll be right back. Page 297, problem number 7. Yesterday, we did the similar problem where we had five people and we were asked to arrange these five people in, in, in a sitting order and the question was how many different ways can we arrange them. So we have five spots, this was the yesterday scenario, we had five spots and five people, how many different ways to arrange five people in five spots? How many different ways, how many ways, five people can sit in five spots, in five spots, and now of course these spots have no these are five spots. How many different ways can we fill up these five spots? In the first, in the first spot, we have five choices because there are five people. We can put any one of those five people in the first spot. After we have chosen the first guy, we only have four left. We have four choices for the second spot because we already put one person here. So there are four choices for the second spot. For the third spot, once we have chosen two people, there are only three people left for us to choose from. We have three choices for the spot. Finally, after the three people have been chosen out of five, we have only two choices for this part, and finally whoever is left will go in this part. This is what is known as five factorial, which is what we learned yesterday. Now this is situations where there are, where there are no restrictions. Today we are doing a problem where this lady Martha, this girl Martha, is going to a movie. She's going to a movie with four of her friends. And Martha says that Martha is hell-bent on sitting in the middle. She is hell-bent. Is hell-bent half hyphenated? I believe it is. I believe it is. I don't know. I'm not sure. She is hell-bent on sitting in the middle. She said, I must sit in the middle. I want two of my friends to the right, left of me. I want two of my friends to the right of me as, I, as we're sitting in the movie theaters so that I can nicely uh, converse with everybody and just yap all I want. So given that condition now, how many choices do we have now? With no conditions as we saw yesterday, we had 120 different ways, 100 different, 120 different choices as to how these five people could be arranged. Now, we have a conditions to fulfill. We have a conditions to meet, which is, which is that Martha must sit in the middle. She must sit in the middle. All right, it's fine. Let's, let's pretend that she has four friends. A, B, C, D. She has four friends. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. How many different ways can we fill up first spot? Right here. Well, obviously four different ways because she has four friends. We can put any one of these four people here because there are no other restrictions. The only restriction is that we have to put Martha in the middle, which we did there. So there are four different ways we can fill a first spot. Let's pretend that we pick this guy, C, in the, to, to put in the first spot. Once we put C in the first spot, we no longer, can, no longer can pick C. How many choices do we have for second spots? Three choices. Let's pretend that we pick D for the second spot. We no longer can pick D. How many choices do we have left now for this spot? Only two choices, either A or B. Let's pretend that we pick A, which means we cannot pick A, and for the last spot, whoever is left goes in the last spot, and therefore the answer is 4 times 3 times 2. That's all. 4 times 3 times 2 is 24. 24. There are 24 ways we can arrange people so that Martha sits in the middle. 24 ways we can arrange these four friends with Martha 
in the middle. Now, on the way, they could have asked the same question in the real, they can ask the same question. I wouldn't say could have, could have, because this, this is just of the exercises here. One of the, on the way that uh, could this same question could appear in the exam is something like this. Okay, listen carefully. Something like something that uh, what what follows. Five people are sitting in a certain order. Five people are to be seated in a certain order. I'm not in a certain order. I'm not saying it properly. Five people are are to be seated in five spots at random. We're going to assign five people to sit at random. We're just going to put five names in the hat. We're going to pick one person at random. Who's, whoever's name comes up is going to sit in the first spot. Then we're going to put our hand again in the, in the, in the hat. Among the four many people, we're going to pick one name at random. We're going to put it here and so forth. And we're going to assign five seats in a random manner. Here's the question. The question is, what are the odds that Martha is going to end up sitting in the middle? How do you answer that question? What are the odds? That if you would assign these five people at random to sit in the five seats, what are the odds? Just pure odds. Martha is now very polite. She doesn't say anything. She's just hoping, and uh, they are assigned in some random fashion, whatever the whatever the random manner may be, you know, by putting their names in the hat or just whatever. Do you understand? And uh, question is, what are the odds that she's going to end up in the middle? Which is very simple. We know that there are 24 ways. There are 24 possible ways that Martha is in the middle. Martha ways Martha may end up in the middle ways Martha ends up in the middle which we know is 24 and how many are total ways total possibilities possibilities we know is 120 from yesterday 12 divided by 120 is 10 percent, listen carefully, 12 divided by 120 is 10 percent, therefore 24 divided by 120 would be 20 percent, that's it. So the answers, the answers in the multiple choice could be expressed in percentages, they could be expressed in decimals, or they could be expressed in fraction, one-fifth, or they could be, or it could show up like this. I don't want to erase any of this thing because we have one more problem to do tomorrow. Let's put it here. Or the new type of question that they're giving us, the new type of question that they have introduced in the, in the revised GRE since last summer, is where there are more than five, uh, more than one right answers, and they tell you to mark, check mark all the answers that are correct. In which case, if 20% appears in this answer twice, and the one fifth appears in this answer twice, and the point two appears in this answer twice, all of these are correct answers. You have to check mark all of them. That's all. Let's do one more problem. Let, let me give you a problem for tomorrow. I want you to work on it. It's not in the book. It's a bonus problem. I'm, I'm giving it to you here. Listen carefully. Same person, Martha. But this time, Martha, this is a new problem. Let's call it 190. I'm still going to call, I'm still going to call data analysis 7 because it's not in the book. And I don't want to give it 8 because we all, I want to follow the numbers from the book. So I'm going to call it B, a 7, a 7 part B, whatever you want to call it. Here's the question. How many different ways we can arrange these five people? Same exact five people. Martha is going to movie with four of her friends. I'm not going to write all of that in the blackboard. She's going to going to the movie with four of her friends, just like she did in the last problem. But this time, but this time, but this time, Martha refuses to sit on either end. Question is how many different ways can we arrange the people now? Work on the problem on your own and if you need help I'm going to give you a little help and then we'll do it tomorrow together. If you need a little help go and watch this thing. Just type in math problems math problems day 27 just type in math problems for GRE or with my name Keshwani just put in Keshwani and then put down math problems day 27 watch this video if you're having trouble figuring it out what to do with this thing and then watch the video that, that I'm going to take tomorrow 
for day 190. Okay? I'll see you there. Bye now.